machines Big and mighty machines Working for you, doing mighty things there Mighty machines Lifting and pulling and flying so high Building up, building up to the sky You can watch them all day and never know why they're Mighty machines Hear them roar, watch them soar Sit right down and see There are stories to enjoy For every girl and boy Mighty machines Big and mighty machines Working for you, doing mighty things there. Mighty machines. Working for you, doing mighty things there. Mighty machines. Hi there. Bet you're wondering what I am, kids. Well, come on over and get a closer look. I look like a boat. But do you notice that funny rubber skirt thing that goes all around me? I'm a hovercraft. I'm a special machine that can go on water and land. There's Susan, my captain and pilot. She's running through her checklist before we go out. These are for my navigation lights. Red lights on the left side, that's port. And green is on the right side, starboard. That's my special amber light. Only hovercraft have a light like that. The crew always checks to see that all my equipment is working A-OK. -okay. Those are my searchlights. They're powerful. I need them when I'm out in the dark. It can be very dark on the water at night. How about my horn? Yes, it's working. That's the radar turning around. It sends out an electronic signal that appears on this monitor. When I'm on the water, the radar signal helps me know where other boats are. My job is search and rescue. The crew is checking all of my gear because sometimes we rescue injured people. In an emergency, I can hold 50 people. Those are two of my engines, and are they ever powerful. They turn my big propeller blades that drive me forward. Make that hatch good and tight. We don't want any seawater in there. Watch me blow up my skirts. I've got two more big engines that run fans underneath me. When they turn, the air is blown downwards, and I rise up off the ground. I float on a cushion of air. All that touches the ground is my rubber skirt. Kinda looks like I'm all blown up like a balloon, doesn't it? <laughs> See those propellers in the back? Those are what push me forward. Captain Susan's all set. She can use my funnels to help me change direction fast. I also have rudders for steering on each of my stern propellers. Up with the throttles. Here we go. I'm just gliding along on a cushion of air. Isn't that amazing? Down the ramp and into the water. I can travel on land and on the water. That's what makes a hovercraft so special. Look at all the spray that I'm throwing up from my propellers. Am I getting you wet? <laughs> 
My rubber skirt helps to hold in the air that is being blown down by my big fans underneath me. I can spin right around in one spot. Captain Susan just points my steering funnels and rudders in the right direction, and around I go. I work for the Coast Guard. They like me because I can move fast over the water. I can even go up on a beach if there isn't a dock. When a boat is in trouble and needs help, I can get to it double fast. Top speed, 45 knots. And you know what else I do? I enforce fishing laws and keep watch for pollution in the water. Pretty important jobs. show you another of my trick maneuvers. I'm going sideways. Boats can't do that. Only hovercraft. It's fun riding the waves. Captain Susan is a real expert at steering me. The secret is my air funnels. One thing though, if you are close to a hovercraft like me, you will get wet. you've seen me in action. What do you think I am? A boat? Well, partly. Maybe an airplane. Well, I do fly on a cushion of air, but I can't fly up in the sky. I guess I'm a little bit of both. Only a hovercraft can fly, go on the land, and over the water. You can just call me a mighty machine. Howdy, kids. I bet you all are wondering what I am. That's my engine, all right. It's an airplane engine. But I'm not an airplane. I'm a boat. They call me an airboat because I'm a cross between a boat and an airplane. But I don't look like either of them. I work here in the Everglades, swampy country. And I'm made to operate in swamps. That's Wayne, my captain. Hooey! Looks like we're going out for a ride today. Yep, he's starting up my engine. That propeller is what drives me. It works just like a propeller on an airplane, but I don't fly. I travel through swamps. That big handle is moving my twin rudders. That's how Wayne steers me. The rudders are just behind the propeller, and it's the air hitting the rudders that makes me change directions. One thing, though, I can only go forward. There is no reverse on an airboat. Off we go. Hooey! Take a look at my hull, kids. I'm a flat bottom boat with an extra strong hull. I only sink into the water a couple of centimeters. That's a good thing, because the water here is very shallow. I love the swamps. Water, weeds, mud, sticky goo. Nothing can stop an airboat like me. Yee-haw! Did you see me take that turn, kids? 180 degrees, and I barely slowed down. 
I can go pretty fast in water, but heck, who needs water? <laughs> I'm just zipping right over this patch of sawgrass. And that's why I'm ideal for the swamps. If I had a propeller that was in the water, it would get all fouled up with weeds and muck and stuff. But my propeller never touches the water. I just skim across the top like a good thing. I'm a pretty useful machine down here in the Everglades because I can go anywhere and get there fast. I have a job taking around tourists and fishermen. There's plenty to see here if y'all know where to look. Wayne and I both like the fast speeds. There's not many in these swamps that can hit our speeds. The airplane engine is the secret. That big airplane engine and propeller can really make me move. Why, I even have to use airplane fuel. You can't hold me back. Maybe that's why Captain Wayne named me Fast Forward. Woohoo! Look at us go! Good thing they built the wire cage around the engine. That keeps any critters out. And I don't want any fingers or arms getting sucked into my engine neither. Safety first, that's what I say. These channels help us get around in the Everglades. That way I don't have to bash my way through the tall grass. It also helps us find our way around. No street signs here. That's an egret that just flew up. This is one of the biggest freshwater swamps in the world, and there's a lot of wildlife around here. Well, there's another egret on top of that tree yonder. Y'all gotta keep your eyes peeled for wildlife. See the big heron? A beauty. Dang, all these critters are getting scared away by the sound of my engine. Soon as I get close, they run and hide. Why well, no? Let's just coast along real quiet like and see if we can sneak up on something. Is that something moving in the water up ahead? What's that? An alligator! There's lots of alligators in this swamp. Look at him, sunning himself, waiting for something to eat to come along. Well, you can't eat me, Mr. Alligator. He's a big one. Beep, beep, Mr. Alligator. Move along there, Scoot. Scoot! See you later, alligator! <laughs> well, kids, it's time to be heading back. Just one more fast run. <laughs> I hope y'all had a good time here in the Everglades. Come back and ride with me again real soon, you hear? Bye-bye. Welcome. It is so nice that you could visit the Empress. I am the Empress of the North. I am no ordinary vessel. No, no. I am a riverboat. You may not have seen a ship that looks like me. I am rather rare. But many years ago, riverboats with my kind of elegance and style were plentiful on rivers in the Deep South. And what made us famous was our paddle wheel. See all those little paddles on that big wheel? They propel me forward. It's one of the ways that I am driven through the water. I sail the glistening waters of Alaska and British Columbia.
I just love it out here. It's so beautiful in the summertime. Look at those mountains. They're almost as majestic as I am. My passengers want elegance. That's what I deliver. They love to sit and enjoy the scenery. A waterfall coming down a steep cliff. Rugged mountains. And a bald eagle. Oh, but the scenery is just glorious, don't you think? A fit setting for the cruise of an empress like me. I credit my powerful engines and my paddle wheel. I feel that it is the perfect way to travel for an empress. I don't travel on rivers like other paddle wheel boats. But in the northwest there are many rocks and ledges just underneath the surface of the water that could tear a hole in my hull. It is very practical to have a flat bottom. My paddle wheel is huge. And you can see, my paddles only need to dip into the water a little bit, but they still give me plenty of push. That is very useful here. Even though the water looks calm, it is moving quickly. Do you notice the water flowing around that marker? That shows the strength of the current created by the tide. If I didn't have the power of my paddle wheel, I would not be able to make any headway at all against the current. Oh, there is a fishing boat. Greetings! Even fishing boats recognize me as an empress. I travel all through the waters of the Northwest, taking my passengers to see the wildlife, glaciers, and mountains. That's my job, and I love providing the best, the most elegant service to all of my many guests. It's a good thing that there are markers showing the channel. As part of my duties, I have to navigate my way through all of the different waterways. It can be very complicated. Some of the channels are very narrow, like this one. And I must be careful with the tides and the weather too. But if I follow the markers, I can safely zip right through. Outside, I may look centuries old. But inside, I am thoroughly modern. Would you like a tour of my bridge? There's Captain Peterson at my control center. The captain sets my course, steers me, and controls my engines. He is in charge of everything. And so I guess you could call him the Emperor. <laughs> the captain keeps watch to see if anybody else is nearby. I have electronic charts of the area we are traveling through. It marks the shoreline, the water depth, and all the hazards. I also have radar. We never get lost. This is beautiful country. Just splendid. Well, some people like to rush past the scenery. What a pity. They're missing it all. I prefer to travel at a more stately pace. I like to be relaxed and provide comfort so that my guests can enjoy the magnificent surroundings. Even my hallways are beautiful. Veritable art galleries where I display the wonderful works of the native people of the Northwest. I have a sumptuous lounge for entertaining. And this is the very heart and center of style and sophistication, the Romanov dining room. Everything in here is luxurious, from my fancy chandeliers to the knives and forks. Did you know that I'm also a floating hotel? It's true. One of my staterooms, fit for royalty. 
But even royalty needs the workhorses that make things go. And my strength comes from my paddle wheel. And where does the paddle wheel get its strength? From here, these are my engines. I have two big diesel engines. They provide all the power to drive the paddle wheel. And they have enough energy left over to supply all of the electricity needed aboard the Empress. Round and round the paddles go. Round and round, they're never slow. I am big for a paddle wheel boat. I can carry 223 passengers in regal style. And people on shore simply love to watch me because I am so beautiful. I can kick up a big wake. That shows my power. I like it in close to shore like this. It is quiet and the water is calm. It is the best place to see wildlife. Ah, here we are. I have a little secret to share with you. Watch. Being a thoroughly modern paddle wheeler, I also have other means to drive and steer. I have special thrusters that can turn me around when I come into port. You can't see the thrusters underneath me, but you can see how I turn in the water. Captain Peterson has gone outside in order to guide me in. There is a complete set of my controls on both sides of the bridge. Yes, we are definitely going to land. Captain Peterson has turned off my paddle wheel, and the only time he does that is when we are coming into shore. The crew are getting the lines ready. Oh, look! The passengers are anxious to get off and explore the little town. It looks complicated to maneuver a big ship like me. But my captain knows just what to do. He's a prince of a man. There's the wharf. Not long now. My twin thrusters are pushing me gently into the wharf. Easy now. Easy. They have the bow line ashore. And the stern. That's it. Pull. Good. It is remarkable how tall I am. Each stateroom has its own balcony. Aren't they lovely? There, I am tied up at the wharf. This wharf is too high for me to use my front gangway, but that's not a problem. I keep an extra one for just such an occasion. stored up on the top deck. My hoist will lower it. Take your time. Carefully now.
Did I mention what a splendid crew I have? Top notch. Fit it into place. Perfect. Excellent work, crew. Lower. That's it. We're ashore. Well, it's very nice that you young people had time to visit the Empress today. I do enjoy showing people around my special palace of the sea. And remember, elegance never goes out of style. Mighty machines, big and mighty machines, working for you, doing mighty things there. Mighty machines, lifting and pulling and flying so high, building a building up to the sky. You can watch them all day and never know why they're mighty machines. Hear them roar, watch them soar, sit right down and see. There are stories to enjoy For every girl and boy Mighty machines Big and mighty machines Working for you, doing mighty things there Mighty machines Working for you, doing mighty things there Mighty machines 